Hi, I'm David Ray, Certified Financial Planner, Accredited Investment Fiduciary, and I've been doing this for 14 years. Joining us is Certified Financial Planner David Ray. Good morning, David. Thanks so much for coming in. David, great to see you this morning. Great to see you as well. Certified Financial Planner David Ray, thank you so much and welcome back. My pleasure. Good to see you. David, nice to see you this morning. Thanks for having me. David, thanks for being with us this afternoon. David Ray, good to see you, David. Good to see you as well. Thank you, David, for joining us. Of course. I, I don't make enough to save any money. It's really nothing to be stressed about over the long term. It may look scary when you look into your investment portfolio and say, oh my gosh, it's dropped two or three percent. The world's not ending. You're not going to have to go back to work if you have a smart, sound financial plan. You know, there's, it's never too late. There's always room for improvement. But the later you start, the harder it is to reach all of your various financial goals. The reason to have a financial plan is your roadmap to achieve all the things you want to do in life. And whether you're starting late or starting early, get started. My father retired from a career in the NFL, and I really saw the difference between people who'd made smart financial decisions while making money and people who did not make smart financial decisions. And I told myself someday I was going to make smart financial decisions and I was going to help people make smart financial decisions. There's so much confusion on this topic. Most people think I go to this person, they're going to give me their best advice, but it's really not the case. It's really a small percentage of advisors that are really acting under the fiduciary standard. And I want to do what's right for my clients. My goal is to help you reach financial independence, save more for time, and actually reach your goals. Ask a lot of questions. If ask them for the fiduciary, and if they say no, run. Um, I had a client recently come in with just a very complicated situation. They'd gotten a ton of different advice. They'd done research on the internet. I was able to help them sort through all of that and find what's the appropriate answer for their situation and really get what's best for them to reach their specific financial goals. Besides bills, mm -hmm. just like if we are out doing whatever, I am always covering those costs. Like, Richie never has money on him, yeah. like physical money. The fact that Jess and Richie have zero savings and they're both in their 30s, big trouble ahead. We We're throwing Richie under the bus on this topic. There's going to be things for both of you because if you both have credit card debt here, so it's not like one of you is perfect and no relationship anyone's perfect, let's be honest. We sit down, we figure out what they want to accomplish and we figure out how to get them to their financial goals. Restaurant, restaurant, shopping, 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 restaurant, shopping, spa. Do you guys eat at home at all? Both people need to give equally, and both people really need to be invested in the plan. I think a lot of women, they do start out doing the bill paying and the day-to-day -day handling. You know, traditionally we have the stay-at-home wife who maybe pays the bills, but she doesn't make the big decisions, the retirement planning, where to buy a house, how much to spend on a house. And really, women should be involved in this process. If you're doing a financial plan, you want to have both spouses' opinions, and I think it's very important that women speak up and are involved. People try and just gift money to their kids to pay for a college or medical bills or pay off some debt. You want to maybe pay that debt directly so that you're not getting hit with a gift tax. Okay. Pull out your credit card bills right. and go, oh my gosh, I did spend money volunteering or fostering a pet <laughs> or on medical expenses. <laughs> Add it all up. You might save thousands of dollars off your tax bill. Right. You can get a tax credit on top of a tax deduction for putting money into retirement accounts. So life insurance is very important. You know, rule of thumb, depending on how many kids you have and your debt, you want to have 10 to 15 times your income. I think we'd all like to stop working at some point in time. I love what I do. You guys love what you do. But it'd still be nice to have the option and to be financially independent and not have to work. Yeah. Hi, Nick. Hi. David. How are you? David Ray, firm handshake, expensive suit, tax wizard. But half of the American population, give or take, are not paying any federal income taxes. How did they get away with that? Includes the retired, disabled, very low income, and super rich. Are the loopholes that he legally uses, are they open to us? Good question. <laughs> Technically, they're, they're open to you, but they're not things that would apply to you. It's real estate or business owner. A lot of the loopholes are really put there for people that are making tons of money. I just want to make sure that there's nothing else I can do. I mean, opening an offshore account in Liechtenstein, you know, can we do that? You can't. You can't really do that. You're going to end up in jail, so that's really but the way to go. But other people don't end up in jail. Rich people don't end up in jail. Rich people have millions of dollars to spend on attorneys and tax planners and financial planners that probably wouldn't be a smart investment for you. Basically, there's no point in either of us consulting you on our taxes. Not on your taxes, but on your finances. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Los Angeles. The best part of what I do is able to, being able to help people reach their goals. I really love working with people and helping them improve their financial life and improve their family's financial life and reach financial independence. <laughs>